Hi everyone, welcome to a new episode. Can you believe this is episode 8? In this one I'll be looking at painting canvas seats. I posted this on Instagram recently as part of my M54 truck build and it generated quite a lot of interest and I thought to share the method with you guys. The instructions calls for a sail color, it doesn't really specify what sort of sail or canvas cover and I sort of followed my own head with this. Um, I went through five steps, first is primer as always, second was to apply an acrylic base coat, thirdly I applied two stain colors, a medium stain and a dark stain and I'll show you which colors those are. The next step was to dry brush the edges with two light acrylic colors and finally I applied a filter. As always the first step is to properly prepare and prime the parts, for this I used Vallejo's black primer. Preparing and priming your parts is very important because any imperfections that you miss now will show up later in the, uh, in the paint and especially because we'll be dry brushing parts. Any irregularities on the surface detail will definitely show up then. The base color I'm using is Vallejo Kaki, it's an acrylic color. This is from Vallejo's model color range which is of course more suited to brush painting. We'll need to, to thin this for, for, for airbrushing. To prepare this, I'm adding a few drops of Vallejo airbrush thinner, as well as some airbrush flow improver, just to ensure that we have proper paint flow through the airbrush. Remember to mix it well. This base color is now sprayed onto the seat parts in an even coat. Next up is the first of the stain colors. I'll be using Vallejo Dirt. And because we're doing some precision airbrush work, we'll need to lower the air pressure on our compressor a bit. You need to be able to spray a pencil thin line in order to do this. I now carefully spray the dirt color onto the center section of each of the seats. And here you can see the result. The purpose being just to stain the original khaki canvas with a dirt color. The third color we'll be adding is dark earth. And uh, again, this is sprayed onto the very center of each seat. So we now have a very gradual transition of colors from khaki to dark earth, as you can see in this picture. At this point, I assembled the driver's seat, which was still in two parts. For the next step, we will need to have the seats in their final position. And there you go, the driver's seat and the larger passenger seat. For dry brushing, I used two colors, the first being German camouflage beige. This is carefully dry brushed onto the edges of every seat as well as the center section. This brings out any raised detail. And again, it's very important to have very little paint on the bristles of your brush. It's better to build this effect up gradually through multiple passes. I also brought in a lighter color deck tan and um, again making sure that I concentrate on the edges of every seat and also the raised detail in the middle. You can see the details coming out beautifully there. This is exactly the effect that we were after. The final step is to apply a filter, in this case one of the filters from the MIG Productions range. This serves two purposes, one it will bring out the colors a bit more and it will also darken any recessed detail. And again I apply this in multiple coats. You will see here, uh, as I applied on the center of the seat, the way it nicely brings out all the recessed detail. And that's the final result. Some of the comments on Instagram was that this looks like leather. Whether this is leather or canvas, I'll let you be the judge, but I certainly like this look. And this effect is really not hard to achieve. As always, this is a list of all the products that I used. You should be able to find them at your local hobby store. And for the rest of the build, as always, follow me on Instagram. Hope to see you all in the next video.